Hey, Man. do we know today, when I arrived at work, the entire lobby of Prudential Plaza 2 was filled with teenage girls all ever on the on the I've seen cur- that before on yeah. the curb outside mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. around inside yep. what who was here rod <laughs> they're, they're screaming and swooning for rod zimmerman mm-hmm. <laughs> and you act like you don't see uh, nick shepkowski insisted it was for him and i thought no 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 i, no, I, I don't not. i don't think those are the shep heads unless they all had canes and dogs <laughs> um i don't think so um <laughs> I've seen it before here, though, so maybe not in the gathering you're talking about. Well, Sometimes, like, well one time it was Justin Bieber who was here. Mm-hmm. Was he here today? Was he in the building? I don't know. Because they were all, they were teens and tweens. It was like young teens. I would say 12, 13, 14. Justin Bieber. Maybe he was here. I just, I, <laughs> they keep it so secretive. And then you get the occasional security person with the earpiece who's talking into the lapel. Yeah, he has been known to show up here, though. Right. He has been known. So maybe, I don't, I don't know. I've, I've seen before, like when they're in classes and stuff and they're wandering down there. And, and I, I feel like saying to them, girls, 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 um, really, there's no, there's little or no hope here. Mm-hmm. Don't take the elevator up because it'll only go down. That's my advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice in this business. I wish I had better advice. I just don't at this moment. I'll think of something. I just, right now, I just got a text that says, "Let's go Hawks! Let's go Hawks! Let's go Hawks!" Nah, nah, nah. I can't wait for the game tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, you got no choice, bud. You you, you got to wait for the game tonight, and then the game's <laughs> going to start, and then you'll get to watch it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what you're going to do without Terry's keys to the series. It's I'm the sorry. First game of a two month odyssey. And yep. <laughs> Dave B96 was interviewing five seconds of summer today. Five seconds of summer? I've never heard of them either. They're from Australia. Four Aussies making music. Oh, that's hot these days. I've never even heard of them. That's very I, hot. I though. listen to B96. Maybe I, I know the song. I don't know. Ashton, Calum, Michael, and Luke. Mm-hmm. Nope. Robert Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Quite naturally, Ron Harper. We have five seconds of summer, an Australian pop band formed in Sydney in 2011. Well, right. That's where the way you got to go. Luke Hemmings, Michael Clifford. They all know the way. Caleb Hood and Ashton Irwin. I didn't know they were all that popular. That's what you have to do, though. You have to do what do you what you have to do? Be from Australia? You have to have. Yeah, and uh, ACDC's sick. You see that? I saw that, yeah. And you like, have to have. Malcolm four Young or five. is dying or something like yeah, that? He's, he's, yeah, he's got problems. I think he's only 62, right? Malcolm Young? Yeah, I think so. Isn't that right? That, that's what it said. But anyway, what, what you have to do, the, the, the trend is, and remember this, the trend is your friend, okay? You have to be four or five mm-hmm. extraordinarily handsome young men okay, and sing together. Well, these guys are and, not extraordinarily handsome. And they will come. These guys are not handsome. I think ACDC, even in their mid-60s, are more handsome than these guys. <laughs> I don't think so. How about One Republic? They think they're handsome. One Direction, you mean? What's the other one? One, one, uh, one Direction is is the British one, band with with Harry. Quick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I get them all mixed up, but that's what you have to do. That's the trend. You you and you don't think they're handsome? I'll have to look them up. No, one no. Republic's a thing too, Terry. Wait, there's all One right. Republic and One Direction, right? Oh, and 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 Tanny, aren't they like the same? They're four or five really handsome guys, right? I've exhausted my One Republic knowledge. Oh no, you haven't. Oh no, don't no, no, no. You now. know they're handsome. They exist. I can confirm that. That's Maddie knows know. they're handsome because he knows handsome. Handsome knows handsome. Who was the rapper that cut off his wang yesterday? Tanny, you should know that. Did you see that story? Well, they said he was Wu Tang affiliated, and then Wu Tang came on and said he ain't affiliated. <laughs> Is that their official <laughs> statement? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, we ain't affiliated. It's, it's <laughs> rapper Andre Johnson. Rapper Andre Johnson severed his penis and jumped from a Los Angeles apartment building early Wednesday. He was seriously injured but survived the fall from the second level of a building in North Hollywood. Hmm. Johnson, along with his recovered penis, and members of Recovered Penis, was taken to Cedar sinai Medical Center where he was being That'll treated. Be somebody's Twitter account in about five minutes. What, Andre Johnson's Recovered Penis? I just Recovered Penis is good for me. He's been a member of North Star, a Long Beach hip-hop group that was part of the Wu-Tang Clan family, according to the Wu-Tang Clan website. He performs under the name Christ Bearer. 
If you don't know him, Tanny, because you're well. I mean, I know the group, and uh, but you got to understand about. I mean, Wu-Tang. I know the group Wu Tang. Well, you got to understand that when you talk about their affiliations, there's a lot of things that are quote unquote affiliated with that, like different branches. But it's not like part of the main Wu Tang nucleus, I would say. And they quickly came out yesterday and <laughs> said that he's not affiliated. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm not an expert, and I don't want to be, but that sounds to me like that's a bad recovery. Right, you probably didn't want to survive, I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think you really want to. I think you need to you need to take jumping lessons from Sammy yeah. Wanjiru, right? Because right. you know, when he goes out a window, he, he, he goes he, out a window. He gets it done. Dude, because if you're going to do that, you really don't, again, you don't really want to do that. Yeah, doing anymore. that is probably a bit. Is he like an angel dust or something? Because that's, that's not yeah. something you say, well, what do you plan on doing this afternoon? Well, I'm going to cut my wang off and I'm going to jump out a building. window. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's really a plan. You sure? You sure you don't want to just like play backgammon or something? No, nah, uh, pretty good on the wang cutting jumping thing. Yep. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. The, I don't like the recovery on that doctor. How do you know? I. I just don't. Maybe I, I don't like it. Maybe he's with brilliant doctors who can. Maybe maybe you can just attach it to a different place. It doesn't have to go back in exactly the same spot, right? Attach it to his hand. You can say, so, "Hey, what do you think of this? How's it going?" <laughs> it's a bad handshake, right? You do it, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, because I saw that, and and there's a lot of people who are self-described rappers who aren't really rappers. I always right. wonder that with the headlines that start Chicago rapper, mm-hmm. and usually they've been signed to something called Interscope Records. And it, well, when you see Chicago rapper, that's most people. Well, it just seems that everybody wants to call themselves Chicago rapper. Exactly. And then they're yeah. driving ATVs around a Chief Keef's house in Northfield. <laughs> in the Chicago hip hop community, everyone is a rapper. Why is that? Because rapping is literally the easiest thing you can do to make money. But how do you make money? If everyone, well, most of them don't. That's that's the irony. Okay. But it's always Chicago rapper gunned down because everyone wants to make it as a rap star. How about going to school? No, not interested. Okay, not that's interested. <laughs> <laughs> not inter- Thank you, Danny, for that. Not interested. I would think going to school would probably be... And apparently it would seem, again, I don't know, I don't pretend to be an expert on this. I'm I'm, I'm more an expert on, on uh, uh, actually, nothing. But you ain't nobody until you're out of Chief Keefe's place. Right. You know what I'm How saying? You ain't, you, ain't getting, you ain't got nothing. Why haven't we been invited to the Keefe's? That's uh, next Friday's remote. <laughs> I think I think they should invite us. I think we should... We should go over to the Keith. Sounds like it's a party. Right. We'll bring it. We'll bring a cake. I think he's close to Real Urban Barbecue. Yeah. He's on Highland Park there. <laughs> and he knows how to party. Neighbors not happy though. Well, no. Too loud. Too weird and too many shootings and right. There's, there's been, there have been a few issues. So really, that's what you call in my country a perfect remote. Oh, we just got our wayward sext of the day. Hey, babe, come at me with all that ass when I get home, and I'll, hmm, wow, I'll put it, hmm, put I'm, I'm going to be your Superman if you let me play with them, hmm, I'll be your, see you in 10. And play with your, hmm. That's from the 815, and I texted back, lovely, sounds great. <laughs> be there in an hour, <laughs> right? Let us get done. Right. Please let, let us, us get done. And let we'll us be get on the done way. with the show, and then we'll we'll come at you with all that. We're going to flip a coin. One of us is going with you. One of us is going to Chief Keith's place. <laughs> we're, we right. haven't made up our minds because we got to set up the remote. I mean, seriously, you think that somebody would have invited us over there? Just said, hey, Boris and Bernstein, come by come the Keefs. Come on down. And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Keefe are, are there, the, the chief and the underlings, yeah. and and George Tom O'Keefe. Howe's there. Yeah, and and they'll we'll just be in the. Have something in the, the set up hors d'oeuvres. Maybe we can play charades or something. I don't know. I'll bring a nice bottle of wine. They're not interested. No. What are we, chopped liver? Come I on. think apparently we are. And I was always told we were big in the community. So I always, I've always been told that. Well, that's because you're a Chicago rapper, Terry Bores. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, no, it's not that. It's because I'm nothing, I'm not a fair minded and high minded individual. Oh. Are you sure? Write that down. Yeah. No, I'm not going to write that down. because sure. yeah, It's you... absolutely true. Okay. I'll head over there in my ATV the minute this show is over and see if we can book that remote. No, the ATVs are already there. They drive them around and then they do spin outs. And annoy and the neighbors. Because <laughs> it doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs>
It's, if you're going to buy a house in Northfield, that's all good. That's fine. They're renting it. Well, that's fine. I've, mm-hmm. I have no problem with you wanting to live there, but but don't act a fool. Well, it's too late for that, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's too late. I think it's six thousand dollars. That's a major bullet point in the lease. Don't act a fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lose your deposit, Keith. And how does he see? Every picture of him, his hair is in his eyes. Yeah. Every single picture I see, his his his, his hair is like completely over his eyes, like cousin it. And I don't want him driving an ATV like that. John Aston is over there, as a matter of fact. He's not going to be able to drive. They invited John Aston, and I think he's dead, isn't he? John Aston. Um, I don't want to kill John Aston. No, I don't either. I used to, but now I don't. Oh, no, too. no, I don't it's think just he is. Well, maybe... now. We're done now. No, he's alive. Don't worry. He's 84. So he's he's slower. He's not, not running quite like he used to, but he's he's fine as far as we know. There. 